All right, video two, Nick the Modern Mystic. Not outside. I really should have done it outside, but it's kind of rainy and yuck. So I said, hell with that. But I'm not walking, which is good. But I'm not, uh, the camera's also going to move because I'm holding it. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Style issue and such. Um, irrelevant. There, hold with my elbow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, thanks for the video. Um, yeah, I have been thinking about a lot of things about my personality and how it does, um, provoke, um, problems. Um, obviously I always make excuses for myself, but I, at the same time I don't. I mean, I just, you know, I, I, I know I should do it differently. And then, um, you know, all of a sudden I see the, the, the little glint on the edge of the pitchfork coming at me and, um, yeah, I'm, you know, by nature, I'm I'm not a general, I'm a soldier. And it's like, when I see something that says, that's a non-starter, okay? Okay, that's that's what every guy I ever saw that was on the enemy side, he was wearing that kind of hat. And as soon as I see that non-starter kind of statement come out of somebody's mouth, it's just like, yeah, okay, yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're those guys you pitch for. Um, and I guess for you, it was sort of the... Um, you know, you sort of romanticized um, the whole rich man, poor man thing, upstairs, downstairs. And uh, the, also sort of the futility argument, you know, the whole universe, universing thing, as if, you know, we are can't do anything. And I'm not saying we can. I mean, it might be, all be quite futile. But I'm saying I'd rather go down fighting than, um, you know, let nature um, play its game. Um, I guess part of this is I'm, I might be more invested, you know. Um, I'm, I'm not saying my life is worse than your lives or any of that kind of stuff. Maybe you went through worse stuff. I don't know. But, yeah, I've been through some shit, and so I've so, sort of done that Poeskian thing. I've sort of been in the Poeskian dungeon, so I've had a bite of this, you know, the real ugly pie, <laughs> you know, the real, real nasty shit. And you just know, oh, man, if that's going to keep on happening to people, that's not good. Um, you know, I mean, I don't really want to get into it. I mean, but, you know, I was sort of schizophrenic for a couple of years when I was a kid, and it was, it was not good. Um, you know. Um, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> just, uh, don't even want to think about childhood too much. Um, so, yeah, it, it was, these are all pretty, it, you know, I, I've sort of been in the, the the trench. I mean, I've always kind of thought of myself as, you know, that's where I've been. I've always been in the trench my whole life. I sort of was born in the trench, you know, fighting the war. And so that's all I know is fighting. Um, and uh, so I'm sorry. You know, I mean, I, I, I'll concede the point that um, I'm abrasive sometimes. Um, and that I might even be... Um, <laughs> I, I, I hate to say I was wrong because I mean, I'm mean i going to say well but I wasn't because you were talking shit that just wasn't acceptable I mean it sort of was game over kind of stuff okay game over I mean if the rich are going to survive the revolution then fuck the revolution if we're not going to do the guillotine thing then you know you're taking all the fun out of it it's, it's that kind of argument almost I mean I know it's not that argument because it's not like you were saying this is the way it is period end of the conversation I mean it wasn't like I said, you were talking, you weren't pontificating. And that, that's sort of where I have to draw a line sometimes. Is I don't know when people are talking and when they're saying, uh, when they're declaring. I guess that's the difference. People talk about how they want to have a conversation on YouTube. And while they're doing that, though, they're basically declaring you know, what the truth is or declaring what they claim the truth is. And that's sort of bogus, right? I mean, if you're going to make declarations, that's not when you have converse. Conversation isn't really made out of declarations. Um, that sort of declarations are sort of basically saying, here it is. Um, the only thing you can do is argue with it, right? What do, you, what do you do with a declaration, especially one that you know is wrong? All you can do is argue with that. You can't really converse with a declaration. Uh, so... Yeah, so anyway, no point in going all this this stuff. Um, I, you know, I'm just, uh, like I said, I, I've appreciated you and Joe over the years. And, uh, you know, even if, um, you know, there was some sort of eternal 
divide between us, it wouldn't undo the fact that, um, you know, both of your brains have influenced mine. And um, you've made videos and, and said things. I mean, I can't just pick out a whole bunch of them and just list them, but um, they were provocative and, and uh, um, well, well, well spoken, well stated things um, that uh, were useful in terms of what, you know, there, there was useful knowledge in this stuff, and so you can't undo that. And I guess even on a personal level, um, you know, the, 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 there's just value in that kind of communication, you know, where you can both say something like, I, and you, and you can both, like, kind of laugh at the idea, oh, I just said I again, or I just said I chose, oops, <laughs> you know, me brain did, um, you know, my memes did, my... Uh, life experience just decided that I'm going to be an asshole again. Uh, you know, and, and so there's a certain charm to all of that crap. Uh, but, that, you know, you sort of put it, you're just this, we're humans, and in some respects we're trying to do the Vulcan thing. You know, here we are human, and we're trying to be Vulcan. And, you know, Nick, you're probably the, you'd probably be the best Vulcan out of the bunch of us. I mean, you're a pretty disciplined guy. Um, and I'd probably be the worst, even though I'd want to be the best. I mean, I'd really like to be Vulcan, <laughs> you know, but I'm just way, I mean, I got way too much human blood, so I need a blood transfusion or something to get myself, um, you know, out of the, uh, you know, to, to do something with my tension and my personal frustration. I guess that's it. I mean, I take this thing pretty personally um, because I have lived it. You know, it's not just a, I don't go to the trench eight hours a day, work in the trench, you know, and then go back home. <laughs> I've mean, just been in the trench my whole life. The whole My whole life is the trench. And so I, I eat it, breathe it, live it. Um, and I'm, I'm, um, prof I mean, it is the biggest fear in my life. It's not, you know, now, but the future. It just scares the hell out of me. Just even contemplate all these harsh and disgusting possibilities and prob the probabilities. I mean, we know this is, here we are having this little jerky conversation on YouTube, and it's just so, it's such a desperate hope. It really is. It's like wishing on a star. Oh, you mean we're going to have a conversation on YouTube and the world's going to get rational? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds of that? Shit. Um, so, yeah, that, th this is all the components of it. But, I, I, look, I understand your impatience with me. So, yeah, if, if I piss you off, you have a right to be offended. Um, you have a right to, a, 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 you know, whatever that level is of respect thing and all that kind of crap. And if I cross that line, you have a right. Um, you yeah, know, I didn't deny it. You're right. I missed you, but I didn't deny it. You're right to be pissed off. And uh, I can appreciate it. I mean, Joe also... Um, you know, I mean, it's not, like I said, there's not, there's not much you can do about it at the time, because, yeah, it's all, you know, emotional stuff, um, because nobody likes to be dissed, you know, and, and, uh, I was feeling it, and you were feeling it, and it's just the way it was, I, you know, I, you would think you'd get past that, I mean, I have to say that I think it's not as big a threat, just because you start to get used to this thing over time. I mean, you, you know, you, you start to know how to do this a little better. Because at first, you really, I mean, you really wouldn't converse with complete assholes on the street. You know what I mean? If somebody starts yammering bullshit, you just walk away. You give them 50 cents for some booze and you walk away. You don't sit there and have a conversation. And on, on this medium, you're almost obliged, you know, to answer these assholes. You know, they make some stupid accusation or say something stupid, and it's like, well, I mean, if I don't say anything, then I let this guy get away with it. I mean, fuck. I mean, somebody's going to get the impression that this guy is saying something I can't challenge because I didn't challenge it. And so, like, in the real world, you just wouldn't put up with that shit. And they wouldn't be able to label you with it. You know, they wouldn't be able to put a, like a, you know, it's almost like they can put a stick -em note on you. you. You know, and you just can't unstick it. And so it's like, yeah, you you offended the homeless guy today, or some, you know, it's like you got a stick of note for everything you did during the day. Um, it was just, you know, there's so many ways, I guess, to metaphor what happens on YouTube that just doesn't have anything to do with any life experience. Where, 
people can say things to you where they know if they said that to your face, you'd punch their fucking lights out. And uh, it's just because they do have this distance that they don't have to deal with that fact. Um, that they can't get in your kitchen that way. And on YouTube, your kitchen door is wide open and they can <laughs> you know, walk right in and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Um, and, and it just gets, and that's part of the frustration, I guess. It also makes you less patient with other people. And uh, you also end up taking things for granted, too, I suppose. I do that with a lot of people. Um, you know, because you just figure they're going to be there and things are going to be okay and you're not going to, you know. And so you just take it for granted. So you, and, you, and you also take it for granted that they'll understand. And again, I, you know, that's always dangerous because, you know, that's when you do commit some of the worst violations of respect is with the people you're the most comfortable with. You get too comfortable with somebody... It's just so easy to fuck them over because it's just like, you know, it just, you become, you become your native selfish asshole and uh, you think they're going to always understand or appreciate that you didn't mean it that way or whatever. And you just don't, you know, it's, it's like you're almost using them as toilet paper or something and it's like you just don't even see it until you look at it and say, oh yeah, I just wiped my ass with them. Um, <clears throat> and I, you know... Because I, I have this expectation that they understand, and that's just stupid. I mean, it's not that it's stupid, but, you know, there's a, it runs out, I guess is all I'm saying. That, that wears thin after a while. I mean, I think I can, I can say most people who I know or trust, yeah, I'll, you know, they can, they can take as much rope as they want, and I know they're not going to hang me with it. So anyway, um, but yeah, okay, so, but thanks for the clarification. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I appreciate the conversation. I mean, some, some way to have it where it doesn't get distorted by all the noise, but it's not like you can close the doors. You know, it'd be really nice if, like, yeah, you, me, Fred, and Darwin Sampson could just have a little four horsemen channel somewhere and <laughs> we'll go solve the universe's problems and then come back to the rest of society and explain it to them. Well, you know, um... But yeah, that's really not practical, I guess. Uh, but it's kind of funny. I mean, it is um, just the way it works out. That that this this that we are on a on a youth medium, and I guess that's another part of it where everything gets out of hand. Um, because yeah, some of us aren't grown up. Uh, concede the point. Uh, so we fall into it. We get sucked into it. And uh, I'm trying to distance myself from that, though. Like I, I'm, like I said, I, I can't. There's no point in me saying I'm getting better when you know, I really can't show a real proof of that. But I sort of feel like I'm getting more um, disciplined. But uh, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So anyway, new start, kind of a thing, or whatever you want to call it. That's good. But yeah, it is a, it's really a gnarly subject. I mean, how exactly do you explain to people that the thing, the most cherished, precious word in the universe, life, <laughs> is a big lie. Um, that that it's it's you know it's exactly it's a baited hook. It's a you know, we have to come up with metaphors even for that. It's such a false fake, phony, cheese doodle. That's not a good one. You gotta do better than that. Um, yeah. But anyway, it's nasty. And it has no... There's just absolutely not one single positive agenda built into it. Um, and it's only by, you know, luck and circumstance. Well, I guess it's just an incidental consequence that intelligence would... Yes, it can build an intelligence, but intelligence can't find any use for life. I mean, it just you really can't find any use for it. It has no rational or logical constituent. It's only rational and logical to something that can think it can win by creating a loser. I mean, if you think you can win by creating a loser, you know, you can play the life game. But if you know that's crap, then you're done. The life game is over. 
Yeah, that's probably a good way to put it. Anyway, some other way is probably better. No doubt. So, but thanks for the video, and yeah, it's, uh, you yeah. know, yeah, thanks. You yeah. know, that's probably enough. Till next time, and such.